Hey, all right, YouTube. Uh, on today's episode of It's Always Something, uh, I want to get a second row seat out of my 2011 Suburban, and I can't find any instructions online. Anybody's done it, any videos, so uh, we're going to tear into it. Um, I've done this before, and, and let me back up. So the reason I want to do it is I'm going to put the third row back in. I got three kids, so I'm going to have one, two, three for road trips, and then a spot for the dog here in the middle. This is a much easier spot to get into. Um, and this thing just takes up a ton of space when it's folded up. So I'm just going to remove it. Uh, looks like i got to pull the carpet out, so this is fun. Um, different than other ones that I've worked on. Uh, pardon the mess. Again, kids. is messy. Um, I went ahead and took this cover off, which seems to be a waste of time. First thing i got to do is get this carpet out. So it looks like everything bolts down uh, under here. So I'm going to try to get this up. Um, I don't know if I can find if this comes out by itself or if, it, if it's one big assembly. It looks like, or I can feel, it looks like I just need to get under here. So I want to get this cover off um, and out of the way and then this carpet up. And so to get this carpet up, all I did was take this trim piece and lift up and then uh, try to get this carpet just peeled back just enough to work. All right, so I'm on the other side now. Uh, I got the carpet out, got everything, all the hardware exposed. <clears throat> um, I'm leaving the seat, but uh, if you're taking them all out or whatever, uh, you get plenty of, uh, you know, free lunch here. Um, but yeah, so one thing pulling the carpet out is it's held down by Velcro, right? Pretty high tech. Uh, my sarcasm anyways, right here. Uh, the mating pieces on the carpet, right, are the Velcro is glued down. My glue was like, coming out so I try to keep it this is like pretty sticky so I try to keep my fingers on this side of the velcro and then it comes out all at once all right so the carpet's out obviously um, went through and got uh, all these nuts out here uh, six uh, 18 millimeter uh, nuts um, I went ahead and left those in for now I don't see a reason to pull them because I'm leaving that seat if you're pulling that seat then you're gonna want to take those out and there's a, a pair of uh, 13 millimeter uh, nuts here I I think you need a deep well for these. You might be able to get away with a regular one. Uh, this is all I use, the three H ratchet and a 13 millimeter deep and an 18 millimeter deep. In this case, it was a spark plug wrench, but we'll do the job. Uh, so yeah, so everything's out. I'm gonna put the seat back down in its flat position here. And it's ready to, if you can see here, ready to come out. Okay, it's in. All right, so it's ready to come out. Uh, I'm going to quit filming here. Um, so I got two hands. This may be a two person job. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, my plan is to just kind of roll it right out the back and just kind of shoot it out there. So, uh, see how this goes. All right, great success. Going out the bag was definitely the way to go. It's very heavy. It's probably two person jobs, so be careful. You know, obviously, I don't want anybody hurting themselves with all my YouTube videos, so um, just be careful. Be smart. Need help, get help. Uh, thing probably weighed 100 pounds. Um, next on my list, I'm going to run the nuts back in for the seats on these studs. Uh, I got six of them to do, uh, just so I don't, I don't think I need to, but just so I don't lose, basically just so I don't lose them. Uh, and then it's going to be clean up and put the carpet back in. All right, a quick once over the vacuum. Now I'm ready to reinstall the carpet and the padding. Uh, one thing I said earlier that's wrong is I said I didn't have to reinstall these. Now that might be true for these four in my case, but uh, in my case, I did have to obviously reinstall these. Um, these two, I pulled them to get the seat off the top. Now if I didn't reinstall them, that'd be, that'd be a problem. So these two are torqued down. Uh, I couldn't find a torque spec, so I just went by feel. Probably not the best way, but um, if I find a torque spec, I'll update it. Uh, couldn't find one, but they weren't too hard to pull off, so I just went with uh, good and tight. Uh, Patty's back in place. Um, there's a gap here, which is a little concerning. I don't know I might, how I'm going to address that. We'll see. We'll see how the carpet does. Um, and then, just so you know, these little holes line up with those two little studs. So, uh, Patty's back in. Time for the carpet. <laughs> Uh, one thing here, uh, this is where the Velcro and that glue failed. 
That's it, man. That's, that Velcro is legit. Um, and this adhesive is not. It's gonna stick to the fingers, I guess. But I had a pair of these. So, pull this out. Restick those to the carpet. See how that goes. All right, so this is the carpet upside down. I got all the the um, Velcro strips reapplied. They're missing spots, so time to put it back in the car. All right, so this project is done. I might wipe everything down, some armor all or something, just clean everything up. But these are the third row seats. What's left of the second row? I got this huge big area for my Great Dane to uh, camp out in on our road trip. So um, pretty happy with it. Uh, this is. I'm glad I put this in here. This is just a random aftermarket format I had laying around. Stuffed in here for now. I don't know if I want to fix this later. So there's a pretty good bump here. I mean, you step on it, it just kind of flattens out. So it's not a, it's not a big deal. Um, this is something I might think about. I do have the previous owners left me these uh, Husky floor liners. Uh, and they're really nice. Um, actually super nice i'm really happy with them but i went ahead and washed it off so it's wet but the other thing i don't like is that this used to ride against the front of the seat right like this one so now it's kind of just sticking up and you know, it's kind of pointed back here so i don't know if i want to do anything about this like maybe maybe trim this and fold it down or something i'm not sure so that's really the only thing i don't like about it so far but um you know right now my my great dane can chill here on road trips Three kids have plenty of room. There's actually four seats here. Um, I was not gonna make anybody sit in the middle. Uh, but then, you know, I got all the space in the back for cargo. So, hey, thanks for watching. If you liked it, give me a like, subscribe. Appreciate it.